Hello Libra, welcome to Map to Love with Catherine Nicole. This is going to be your soulmate twin flame reading for March or as you know, we know time is an illusion. Whenever you're guided to this is the perfect time for you. These are meant to be timeless. So in the month of March or whenever you listen to it for the next four to five weeks, that's the energy. We're going to get energy around you, within you, and your person, shadows, blocks, challenges, all this good stuff, healing, what's manifesting, and we're just going to get started. Take what resonates with you and leave the rest, but remember this is energy reading for the next, you know, four to five weeks, and it, everyone's at a different part in their journey, so just kind of be open to how things uh, unfold for you, Libra. Okay, the energy within you, surrounding you for the month is isolation. So you may be taking a little time to yourself, to collect yourself. This is all about throat chakra, so clearing your throat chakra, taking the time to heal, figuring out what you want to say, being open to communication, um, and however long you've, you've, you perhaps have been in isolation or feeling like you're isolated from your divine lover, from certain aspects of yourself or certain parts of your life, maybe being the hermit. And so it's like spirit encouraging you to come out of isolation. So just take that how it resonates. But isolation is good for us so that we can go within, connect to the higher part of us and find our truth. But it's really important to come out of isolation and get dressed up and go out and socialize because you learn a lot there too. So it's a balance of that, not isolating yourself too much. Your person, prayer. They're praying. They're manifesting. They're asking for guidance. They're focusing on, you know, making the best out of whatever's happening. And this, you know, to me, lemonade on a sunny day is very refreshing. So they're, they just want to, like this... They're just in this new, praying for this new, fresh energy. This is solar plexus, your third chakra. So, you know, confidence, strength, abundance, manifesting, personal PowerPoint. So really focusing on happiness and refreshing themselves and maybe perhaps relaxing and praying for these times, praying for this to manifest. So they're praying about this union because we're talking about your true sacred lover, whether you're in physical or not, they're they're praying for you. They're they're thinking of you, thinking happy thoughts of you, perhaps wanting you to come out of isolation. Okay, and in the union, perception. So there's going to be shifts of perception. To me, this signifies heart opening, the emerald heart healing, transformation, birth peace, tranquility coming in with this white bird and the butterflies, the rebirth, um, you know, two butterflies. So this is the shared space, two birds and two butterflies. Come on, you guys. That's beautiful. There might be another butterfly down here, but the ones flying that are birthing into this new life, there's two of you, right? The masculine and feminine within you, you and your masculine, you and your feminine. And look at that lovebirds, like peace, tranquility coming together. And sometimes it is just a slight shift in perception. Perhaps you're perceiving yourself in a negative way or a lower vibrating way. And it's just seeing yourself for your worth. How beautiful you are. Opening your heart. There's heart healing. So the throat chakra, the heart chakra, and the solar plexus chakra are being highlighted for you and your person and this union. And I just feel healing in the heart space and unconditional love coming into the, the union. And really stepping out of any self-imposed limitations and moving forward in a new direction. Okay, supporting energy for you this month and messages is bountiful nature. Spending time in nature helps shift you to a higher vibration and reminds you of God's infinite abundance. Go outside and enjoy a walk or a hike with your pet. Meditate beneath a tree. garden or oh, do your gardening and sit under the stars or do some other activity to connect with the limitless vastness.
And this also to me is, yeah, getting out, getting outside, spending time with Mother Earth, with the animals, connecting, not not isolating yourself, you know. But in isolation, when you are by yourself, what are you watering? These are your seeds of intention growing, blossoming, and blooming. So what do you want for your life? So when you go within and you're in this time or maybe a time period where you're in separation or feeling isolated from your partner, shifting your perception to the abundance that you do have to the growth that is happening within you and within the union, to things that are just so beautiful around you and just enjoying that and appreciating that, that's going to help. That's going to help heal this. It's just your shift in perception of how you're seeing it. Sometimes separation and isolation is good for us because it helps us understand ourselves better and the connection because we're divine mirrors. It's just a bountiful time for you coming out of isolation, learning from your isolation, and then coming out of it. Okay, what about for your person? Wow, Santa Claus is coming to town. Santa Claus is coming to town. It doesn't matter what month it is. I hope you like my singing. You know, I'm not a singer, obviously. But that just, I don't know, sometimes quirky weird songs come out of me or tunes I'm just you know if you're new to my channel it just happens occasionally and hope you get a good laugh but Santa Claus is coming to town you know here's that bountiful nature being realized in your partner in your union in your sacred lover right it's just um you know productivity uh fertility having enough saved away this innocence but also this wisdom at the same time coming in for you. An increase in abundance is arriving in many different forms, some of them unexpected. Be open to receiving and know that this abundance comes to you to support your life purpose, health, and charitable work. So this, your person's been praying for this abundance, for this to come in better health to come in, knowing their life purpose, having money coming in so they can be giving. Because I feel like this person is generous in giving and likes to share. So, you know, wanting to share this abundance with you. Praying for that. And the shared space. Ask for your needs to be met. So this is for both parties. Is, is trusting your guidance, going within, connecting to the angels, God, source energy, your loved ones. God and the angels can come to your aid only if you make a free will choice to be helped. And it begins with asking. It doesn't matter how you ask God for help, but only that you do so. The same holds true with clearly asking other people to assist you. So that's that, that shift in perception. It's okay to receive. Allow yourself to receive the love. Allow yourself to receive the healing, the clarity, the truth that's necessary, the abundance, the gifts, the opportunity. And when you ask, you will receive, so allow yourself to receive it. That's key here. And at the bottom of the deck is let go of guilt. So if anybody has guilt, let go of it. Learn and grow from past mistakes instead of berating yourself for them. It's time to release that. Okay, with the Malefic deck, Libra, we are going to see in this within this time period what shadows or blocks or challenges or what needs to be looked at a little closer so it can finally be healed um, and restored for you and your partner. For you. Queen of Cups. So to me, and we're talking about shadows, blocks, and challenges can be that you feel chained to the past chained to someone that you don't want to be with, feeling obligated, feeling trapped, feeling stuck. So this is um, opportunity for you to connect to your true emotions, be authentic with yourself, and release these chains of the past. Release what's not serving you. Allow your heart space to heal. And come out of 
this isolation and into this new life. The Six of Wands, yeah, believing in yourself, trusting, you're being recognized and rewarded for this. It's going to be victorious. Riding into freedom, a new direction. But when we dwell too much in the past, it keeps us stuck because there's no power there. So by releasing the past and healing from it and taking the wisdom forward and actually moving forward, you'll be recognized and rewarded for it. It will be victorious. Letting collaborations, relationships, opportunities, jobs, whatever it is that didn't work out, that were not victorious, that made you feel trapped, and that you couldn't express yourself and you just felt stuck, like you couldn't go anywhere, let go of those. Let go of the past. Let go of the fear of charging forward and opening up to new collaborations and partnerships. Yeah, indecision, stalemate. So this is a, this is a time where you're going to be given the opportunity to break free into victory, collaborate with like-minded people, and finally just, you know, make the decision that's best for you to move forward. For your person, the four of pentacles. So what blocks your person or what holds them back or a challenge of theirs is they hold on too tight, holding on tight to their money, holding on tight to their love, holding on tight to their knowledge or their, you know, whatever's going on. It's just finding the balance of that. You see in this card, what I, for is stability, is balance. So what I feel from this card is they're get, being given this time period, an opportunity to balance what they know spiritually with the physical world and bring everything into balance and no longer holding tight on too tight. Like, you know, instead of them being close together, it's like freeing themselves. That's what I'm feeling from this card. They're going to have opportunity. We all have free will. We have to remember that. But you are given this opportunity and they are going to be given this opportunity to transform this energy. The King of Wands, that's the distorted masculine, just like you've been in the distorted feminine, right? Transforming that into the light. Distorted masculine, finally going within, finding the peace and balance instead of being, um, instead of charging forward when it's too soon or not relaxing and meditating and allowing things to come to them, you know, being pushy, manipulative, that kind of energy. That's all being balanced and healed and restored, the masculine within them. So they can open up again to all this abundance. Yeah, look at that challenge. Talk about challenge. Ten of swords, it's been pretty toxic for the, for your person. It's been really bothersome in their headspace, always in a battle with their ego always like a constant consistent battle and what I'm feeling is whether they are masculine or the masculine energy within this person that you're thinking of is really tired of the battle they're tired they just want to take a rest from it all they just they're ready to just let go do you see that because normally the king of wands is like you know eyes open focus this one is no going within finally really praying see that's praying praying for these endings of this toxicity wow Shifting their perception, seeing things from spirit's point of view, asking for their needs to be met. Wow. And trusting in the spiritual lessons. Trusting that this battle was, was worth it because they're coming out on the other side of it. The seven of wands to me is moving on from the battle, but it's been a freaking battle. It's been a battle. Spiritually speaking, in their headspace, it's been a battle in the material world, and they're finally asking for help from the divine and, and following the guidance. Wow. I, just, I have like goosebumps all over. And if Libra, if you find yourself resonating with this side as you, take it as you, and this is your person, or you know, you may resonate both sides, just take the messages as they come to you and feel right to you. But I have goosebumps everywhere. I know this is resonating with someone in a big way. 
Okay, let's see what's being healed, transformed, what's manifesting for you in this time period. Look at that, ships coming in, Libra. That's your ships coming in. There's one, two, and you're holding on to the third. That's like that final piece of the puzzle, what you've been manifesting, what you've been wanting. Breaking free. When you break free and you let go, look at this victory. Your ship is coming in. The sun is shining in on your life. Abundance, good health, good fortune, prosperity. Breaking free. Four of Cups, yes, breaking free, getting out of this discontentment, this boredom, this feeling like you're trapped, looking to the light finally, you're finding the balance and the peace. See how peaceful now? It's like, okay, I get it now, and you're free. It's like you're, you're done, you're free. You're focusing on prosperity, abundance, purifying your life, taking that the Ace of Cups, the offer from the universe just kind of floating down to you. It's victorious. This transformation is victorious. Oh, yeah, the Queen of Pentacles, abundance, creation, compassion, stability, beautiful health, B having a baby, birthing a baby. If you're having a baby, congratulations. That may be the two of you having a third in the physical, right? Um, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful times ahead, but abundant times for you regardless. These, this could be a creative project that you're finally birthing forward, and it's going to be very abundant, collaborating with like-minded people because you're letting go of the energies and people that aren't serving you and coming out of the isolation coming out and expressing yourself and it's just all this beautiful spiritual growth I, in abundance wow that's what's manifesting and healing for you and look at that communication balanced stable communication well thought out plan of execution complete clarity and feeling patient feeling balanced, feeling stable in the shadows and the light. And I just feel like, you know, the communication, being receptive to communication coming in. And you communicating, this is finally what's transforming is you're, you've got the clarity, you've, you've picked, you've made your decision. You're making your decision by the end of the month. You're deciding what direction to go and you're at peace with it. And you know it's going to be really abundant. For your person, taking a little pause, right? Finding the balance, that four of pentacles, finding the balance, getting that peace, getting that clarity, having a little fun again, just kind of hanging around, you know? The beginning of the month, just kind of hanging around, gaining that spiritual perspective, allowing themselves to heal, expand, grow, but just kind of hanging around, a little bit of pause. And which is okay, good. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. This is what, wow, whoa, this is exciting. The Ten of Swords. The Ten of Swords showed up here as an obstacle, a block, something that, you know, has been holding this person back, but now it's being completely healed and transformed. Look at that. Wow. That's why your person might be quiet. They may be in prayer, contemplation, taking a little time out, resting, right? Gaining that clarity. Good. Send them love. Come, Just do what you need to do. Follow through with what, you know, your plans and let, allowing your ship to come in and learning and growing. But wow, that's, a, that's an incredible transformation. And look at that. A, a pause again. Patience. Ending things that aren't serving them really watering their seeds of intention and abundance is coming. A lot of hard work put into their creative projects, to their job, to what they've been manifesting health-wise. So this is coming into the physical and it's like almost time. My stomach's growling. I wonder if you guys can hear that. My Lord, <laughs> I must be hungry. But uh, so maybe eating better, why that came. See, this is fruit, like choosing your person is choosing to have better health to eating better to exercising to putting high vibrational fruits and vegetables in their body just really examining their life in every aspect and letting go of what's not serving them it's beautiful completion so completion ending of a cycle that's been going on for quite some time peace clarity contentment spiritual guidance ready to move forward into these new beginnings out of the battle, completion. 
So with the steampunk, we're going to see what's manifesting within the union and any messages about the union and about um, your life, Libra. Okay, let's see what's going on. Oh, look at that. The Two of Cups. Unconditional love. Reciprocal, beautiful soulmate love coming in. You feeling balanced and stable and good. Moving on from the past and focusing on this true divine sacred union within yourself and then sharing it with another. Oh my gosh, wish fulfillment within this union, soulmate love. This is your soulmate. It's wish fulfillment. And look, there's two cups in the picture. That's, wow, what a beautiful confirmation. Wish is coming true. Healing is happening within this union. Recognizing that you are soulmates and you are sacred. Wow. Work, dedication. And look, moving on to the eight. So putting in the work, putting in, seeing that the future is bright and abundant, right? That's that premonition. You're, you're moving towards the ten of pentacles together, like uniting, coming from your different sides, your different perspectives, what you've learned, and bringing it all together. You see how that's transforming, learning the lessons, and moving forward. Wow. Okay, 1111, twin flame, divine sacred union, four of wands, coming together, stable, secure, because you've taken the time to heal yourself and become stable and balanced within yourself. So you're both balanced and stable and coming together for this union. This is a spiritual union. You are united. It is a marriage. When I look at the four of wands, I think of a, a marriage, a spiritual union in the in the spiritual realm and wanting to bring that and make it real for these new beginnings in the physical. In the shared space of the union between, uh, you know, going on with the union is there's a lot of clarity. There's a lot of communication coming in. Balance with head and heart space on both sides. Finally deciding to move forward into these new beginnings. Look at that. Abundance, compassion, generosity, the sacred, divine, feminine empress showing up. This is what is manifesting, and it's one penny, so new beginnings, expansion, spiritual growth, creation, literally getting pregnant. Again, empress, and we got the queen of pentacles. There could be pregnancy involved for someone because that's a big, strong message that it's a fertile time. But creative projects, abundance, this is just beautiful energy. And look at that, the king of freaking pentacles. Hello, king of pentacles. Hello to you. Oh, yes. Yes, you are my sacred divine husband in, in the real life, in the physical coming to be with me. Oh, yes, I know that I'm this abundant. Look. So we know, right, because I said it. I feel like I said it this time. If not, the, em the, the queen of pentacles is the empress realized in life. Okay, so on your side... This is what's manifesting for you and just staying in that energy, in that abundant energy, your divine partner. This is divine partnership, 1111 union. Very grounded, stable, abundant, flourishing partnership. Look at that, the wheel of fortune, the wheel of destiny. You're moving towards your destiny, towards your legacy. It's just take those divinely inspired action steps forward. Speak your truth from a compassionate heart space. Open yourself up. Allow yourself to receive. Shift your perception and get this wheel turning. So the wheel is turning forward. And it's a freaking abundant. Oh my God. The Ten of Pentacles comes out then? Wow. Wow. This is the Ten of Cups in this energy. And the ten, this is everything. Ultimate family life. Union. Abundance. I mean, wow, is all I have to say, Libra. Wow. And the Five of Swords. So for me, this is the completion. 
this is what you're completing is any any and all energy within yourself around you in your head the toxicity the the you know the terrible stories we tell ourselves that aren't even true right this is what you have that opportunity to complete this is what is coming up to complete and walk through this portal to new life get this wheel turning towards your abundance towards this sacred union putting in the work and effort on yourself willing to put it in the union finding the balance wishes being fulfilled healing and to the and re, and then coming together to be together as one like it's a beautiful transformation that's happening an opportunity to really release what you need to release and heal so i'm going to give you a quick rundown of week by week for you and your person that's how i intended this reading it was uh, really interesting i'll be uh, like to hear your feedback do you like the style because it it's always guided by spirit but i just you know always want to hear from you guys i appreciate your support on my channel and all the likes and everything i love it but first week for you libra is your you know realizing you know admitting to yourself what needs to be left behind that you have the power to release yourself and to be free and when you do so your ships are coming in so something's coming in something's coming into balance for you and you're balancing your energies within loving yourself you know the masculine and feminine within you so you're attracting that soulmate love growing spiritually so something's going to happen something's shifting there's balance coming in first week second week you're transforming riding into victory understanding that it was all part of the plan taking this ace of cups taking this opportunity to heal in your peace and you're free so you're free wishes being fulfilled healing happening in your life third week Three of Pentacles, collaboration, something birthing, actually seeing physical manifestations of the work that you've put in on your physical body, um, on getting pregnant, on creative projects, on your job, career, whatever it is that you've been working on and you've been collaborating with spirit on and maybe perhaps collaborating with other people. It's going to be abundant. Keep going forward. And, and appreciate what you do have and the growth that's happened during this time period while you're in this little bit of a pause. So a lot of appreciation and abundance coming in and just allowing yourself to receive that, getting out in nature. Um, just it's a, it's a beautiful time for healing for you. And then the fourth week is making that decision, finally deciding, getting the clarity and you deciding going after this new beginnings, after this true divine sacred union and finding the balance and stability within yourself and moving forward to these new beginnings. For your person in the first week, it's that, you know, healing gaining a spiritual pers perspective shifting their perception so they can release and not hold on so tight and let go into abundance so feeling good something coming into fruition getting that windfall of abundance or that a bright idea that they know is going to be abundant but there's a feeling really good grounded stable second week transforming this toxic energy really really focusing on that really wanting this transformation of the head and heart space getting this wheel turning towards taking the action steps forward so there's going to be some kind of step forward getting this wheel turning towards the legacy so in the third week it's like ending finally ending this toxic cycle and in, in the really toxic cycle in their head the ending taking a little pause, appreciating what they have, bringing in all this abundance, and here it is realized in the physical. So this windfall may get word of it here, like, woo, yeah, I'm getting this to turn it, and it shows up here. And then in the fourth week, there's a little residual energy because sometimes when people move forward into massive amounts of abundance or like everything they've been working on is finally happening, it's almost like there's a little fear in that. Fear of being successful, fear of moving forward. Who am I going to leave behind? Praying that I do the right thing, praying and asking for my needs to be met. Then they're met and it's like, oh my God, I can actually do this now. I can leave the battle now. I can finally complete this. And sometimes that is a little fearful and a little scary. So I feel like with this five of swords showing up, it's like just it's just popping up again. Mercury retrograde season, expect that. So it's popping up again for your person so that they can finally complete it and release it. That's the final release, the final completion of that energy. Wow. 
really great messages. I hope you enjoyed it. And I do appreciate the love and support, any and all donations, uh, booking readings, uh, sending me gifts off my Amazon wish list. And so I want to share these new cards with you. They're beautiful. And this is the first time I'm using them for these readings. And it's the Queen of the Moon Oracle. So I just, I'm just showing my appreciation to you. Liking, subscribing, feedback. I, I love it all. Thank you. Okay, Libra, highest and best. What is your card, your final message here? Wisdom. Look at that. Leveling up to mastership. 22 is a master number. And 2 plus 2 is 4, balanced ability. Using what you know, reaching for the stars, going after your dreams, trusting your guidance. Leaving behind the past, sailing on to calmer waters, taking the knowledge and wisdom with you, and that's it. Letting go of the rest. Breaking free. Wow. All right, I'm going to read from the book. Wisdom is more than mere knowledge. There may be something you aren't seeing and need to research more thoroughly. Wisdom is gathered, but it takes time. Learn from your experience. You might wish to ask the question or ask the opinion of a wise mentor if you are uncertain. Your affirmation for the month is, I use my knowledge and experience to make wise decisions. It is often said that the body has its own innate wisdom. If healthy, it just knows what to do and does what it needs to keep us alive and moving without thinking much about it. Most of the time, we aren't aware of trying to keep our heart beating or of breathing when, when we are sleeping. Similarly, we have this innate reasoning system, intuition, that allows us to get answers or receive information without conscious thinking. It's that feeling or hunch of information or insight that is just there. Some people believe this is the wisdom we receive from the gods, the very spark of the divine voice that is left within us. This is the very old kind of wisdom that sits in a very old part of the brain. Then there is the gathering of knowledge and experience and what we discern and learn from this. If the result has acuity, if it is successful in the real world and a good in sense and perception, it's most probably wise. The getting of wisdom takes time usually, and we can be impatient for it. We might cut corners and not see the role we take in our own poor decision making. To me, though, as a modern people, we have millennia of wisdom to assist us. Human history has some very wise people starring in it, and some not so wise. So we have plenty of examples from which to learn. Gathering wiser people around us is in fact one of the wisest things anyone can do. We cannot always know it all, and a wise mentor or friend can not only save us from a poor decision, but also demonstrate how to be wise if we aren't quite there yet. A companion stone or metal would be fluorite at this time. So what I feel from that last part of it is reach out to someone. Come out of isolation and reach out. Speak up. Ask for help. Ask for guidance. That's going to help you shift your perception, whether it be at church or you know, someone that you trust that's wise, that's been through life, or someone like me that has been through life and is connected spiritually. Whatever the case be, reach out. That person is maybe coming to you. That information is coming into your dreams. Whatever the case may be, pay attention to that because this is, this is your opportunity to make decisions that are really going to push you forward into mastership and push you forward into this divine sacred union and your abundance. It's, it's a beautiful time for you, Libra. And I wish you many blessings. Thank you for your support.